Las Vegas. It's the Cube covering open systems. The future is crystal clear with security and SD WAN. Brought to you by Open Systems. Welcome back to Las Vegas, everybody. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. We're here covering the Open Systems Networking event. Two Gartner events this week in Las Vegas. Big, big month. Last week, of course, was AWS reInvent, 53,000 people. We're talking security, cloud, all kinds of cool stuff going here at the Cosmopolitan Hotel. Matt Krieg is here. He's the Chief Revenue Officer at Open Systems. 36 hours in, Matt. 36 hours you're in. an expert. Let's, uh, let's, and I'm in Vegas. Let's uh, <laughs> lay down the plutonium. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. It's good to Thanks see you. Thanks for having me. So, for having me. first question. Why did you join Open Systems? You know, uh, that's a great question. And, and I asked myself that a lot over the past three months, you know, in discussions with, with the Open team. Um, and really, it's a different offering. It's a complete offering. It's not a product. It's really a solution and a service. And I really feel like it's, it's something that the, that the market really needs and really wants and has really been asking for from a, from a WAN, from an SD-WAN perspective, from a security perspective, from a SOC perspective. It's really a, a solution or an offering that the market has demanded. So when I started in discussions with the open team, you know, it, it, it became clear, it became compelling to me that this is something that, that customers wanted, customers needed, and customers have been asking for for five, eight, ten years, really. Awesome, we're going to come back and uh, unpack some of those things and okay. the onion a little bit. But before we do, a little bit on, on your background. Like I say, you're, you're brand new here. Um, 36 hours. Jeff just left Cisco via the Viptela acquisition, Correct. the company we've tracked closely, Praveen Akaraju, you know, a good friend of theCUBE. Uh, tell us about your journey. Yeah, so. Uh, Who was Matt Krieg? So, Matt Krieg was, I will claim I was the first field sales guy at Viptela. Uh, the VP of sales hired me just prior, just pre product launch. So, I really started at Viptela from zero customers, zero revenue. SD WAN didn't exist when I started there to, you know, an acquisition by Cisco and 18 months with Cisco post acquisition, continuing to build that team continue to build that, that market. Yeah, so Cisco is pretty renowned for its acquisitions. It certainly Chambers, a big part of him building Cisco was through acquisitions. Absolutely. Made a lot of good ones. They, did, they weren't all great, but, but most were really quite good. The Viptela acquisition, as I understand it, when you guys plugged into the Cisco model, you really scaled. I mean, first of all, you had to get to the point where you, you were an interesting acquisition right. target. So right. You had to prove some success. And then my understanding is things exploded. So you were part of that. It was a crazy ride. It yeah. was, uh, it was I, four and a half years later. I, I can't believe it's been four and a half years. It was simultaneously the longest and shortest time of my life. <laughs> it was a blink of an eye. So awesome, you so know? you're obviously trying to bring some of that magic to, to open systems. Let's come back to the differentiation. So you gave us some sort of high level overview of, of what was different. When you look at the market, what are some of the trends that you see that this company is, is vectoring into that attracted you? So, so there's a very clear trend around, around network architect architecture, WAN architecture, WAN traffic patterns changing based on everything moving to the cloud. Really based on workloads moving around, workloads moving out of corporate data centers into AWS, you said you were at reInvent last week, yep. AWS, Azure, GCP. So we're really seeing workloads move around. We're seeing workloads move out of a corporate data center, which has changed traffic patterns substantially. That's what SD-WAN really came to the market to address those changes in traffic patterns. What Open offers over a traditional SD-WAN player is really a fully managed, full white glove network solution. So it's not just, like as I said earlier, it's not just a product. It's not just an SD-WAN product. It's really a true solution and a true white glove offering. So, one of the things we talk about a lot is the, the transition from north-south traffic to, to east-west, what people are talking about is, as you just described, moving from various clouds, on-prem, uh, SaaS is another you know, major Absolutely. force. I heard a stat the other day, uh, the average company, average uh, Global 2000 has eight, eight clouds, and I was like, Silicon Angle Media has eight clouds. <laughs> when you throw eight, in SaaS, eight, eight might be a little like low, 80, actually. Right, <laughs> as I was saying, small companies. And so, 
you have all this data that's now you know, distributed. So SD-WAN helps what? Fill in the blank. Helps connect securely and seamlessly connect to all of those different clouds, to all of those different areas of data. A and really gives customers the ability, gives, gives IT departments the ability to provide a rich, very, very high, high user experience for connectivity to all of those different types of clouds. I mean, it used to be, we didn't realize at the time, but it used to be relatively simple. Secure the perimeter, build a moat, you know, yep. and we'll be good. Every, there, every, everything was in your data center. Right. Just protect that data center and you I don't have to worry. I control it all, I could see it all. Now, there's this notion of perimeters gone. gone. So security has to be fundamental to what you do. If you're moving workloads around and data around, security is paramount. So talk about the ethos of security. Why is it a priority for you guys? Or, and, and, and what is it about open systems that makes you guys qualified? To, to be that leader. So it, it's interesting, you know, I, I don't know where I heard it, but somebody somebody quoted a while ago, or somebody said a while ago, you know, our generation, work has become something we do rather than somewhere we go. Yeah. And that really speaks to that that kind of that moat experience, that everything is within yeah, that, right. within those corporate walls, right? So as we move outside of that, as we work from the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Las Vegas, you know, security becomes paramount. Securing that workstation, securing that endpoint that your customer, that your end user is leveraging to, to connect to all of your data becomes paramount. So making sure that, that not only is that end station secure, but the connectivity in between that end station and all of your different sources, all of your different applications, all of your different data sources is encrypted, is authenticated, everything is, is secured and, and controlled is key. Um, the other thing that we're seeing is with the move to SaaS, with the move to O365, with the move to Workday and Salesforce, um, the ability to, to securely connect directly to those applications becomes key. Not traversing through a corporate data center or a corporate DMZ to get to, to those services is key. So really extending security all the way down to that edge or to that endpoint becomes key. And providing providing a full service, a full managed service, a full monitoring service around all of those endpoints. So performance becomes, becomes critical. Um, and so, again, I know you're early in, but in the conversations that you had leading up to you taking this position, probably talking to some customers, you're at the Gartner event today, what kinds of things you know, performance, et cetera, are customers asking for in this space? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. It's a very good question. So e everybody is asking for, for the best performance, the best user experience that, that they can possibly get, right? Mm -hmm. And interestingly enough, it's almost become, it's almost become corporate IT is getting compared to consumer IT. How come when I'm at home and I'm on my Verizon Fios connection, access to Office 365 is so much better than when I'm in the corporate office, right? So really we're being compared to, to that kind of metric. We're really being compared to that always on, always accessible, instant access type of user experience. In a managed service, so it's, it's almost like you're bringing the cloud experience to wherever your data lives. Whether it's in the public cloud, in a SaaS, on-prem. We were just talking to Hillenbrand, Hillenbrand might be IOT at the edge at some point in time. And it sounds like, if I understand it correctly, that you want to be the most secure, the highest performance, the best user experience, fully managed for those different types of installation environments. That's uh, a right, very, I got it, very right? good, yeah, you got right. it. Good you deal. need a job? Matt, <laughs> <laughs> I got one, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for coming to theCUBE. My, Great my stuff, pleasure. best of luck, you know, we'll be watching. Awesome. High expectations, but you've done it before, and good luck on doing it again. Good to do it again. All right, take care. Thanks, thanks for the time. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. You're watching theCUBE from the Cosmopolitan Hotel at the Open Systems Networking Event. We'll be right back. Ah.